Hi and good evening. It's Jim from Avstar Observatory. Um, we're looking at something that you won't be um, thinking that we're looking at uh, shortly in this video. But before we do, um, just want to say a big thanks to those few people that are supporting us. And it's really a small amount of people now. It's very frustrating to see fifteen thousand people view, you know, your content on your website and one hundred forty thousand views. On your videos that you do on YouTube and you know raise so very little um, every three seconds at this observatory there is another recorded point of where the magnetic North Pole is that's the resolution that we're running at and that is being done all day long all night long 24 7 and you know 365 days a year and we've been successful at doing that now for quite some time now, I'm going to get to the point uh, why we're looking at this yellow uh, vertical line going down the screen here. And I think you're going to be surprised where it originates from. And then we're going to come back to this position and we're just going to talk about it. Um, because, you know, I think that when um, the pyramids were built, that um, I don't think that there was actually focusing on North Pole even though the pyramids do line up with North not exact North because if you see this vertical line that runs off the screen to the bottom uh, you'll see let me just if I can get it on I knew I was gonna do that okay so we're gonna have to go and start from the beginning uh, in Egypt so that could take a little bit of time there's that's we just passed that point there where the magnetic North Pole um, We'll be traveling. So Egypt, uh, we want the Great Pyramid. And this video might be out of sync a little. Uh, for some reason, the video seems to run faster than what the audio does. But uh, you just bear with me. I'm sure that you'll get where we're going with this. So we're around about 30 degrees north, 30 degrees uh, east. And I don't think that that's a coincidence. There's a lot of speculation as to why they built the pyramids some people believe that the pyramids were built um, to sort of like balance the spin of the earth and that's why it required such a large amount of stones to be placed in a specific spot but well, i think they did a lot more and we've talked about this before i mean the actual uh, pyramids uh, you can see the diagonal line there running off the pyramids uh, the two large ones and then the small one you know that it was uh, laid on the ground in the star constellation of Orion and if you go into uh, the King's Chamber or the Queen's Chamber not sure which one it is there are vents that you can if you was to shine a laser out there they would hit at some particular point of the year uh, uh, three stars which is Betelgeuse, Procyon and Sirius and they make up the Winter Triangle and it's by no coincidence that the pyramids looking face on from ground level look like triangles but what we're interested in uh, just trying to work out is whether um, or not the pyramids lined up with north so what I'm going to do here is I can just see 300 the heading 359.85 so very close on 360 degrees and I think I'm tracking, you know, the line of the side of the pyramid. So let's just see where it goes when we uh, zoom out a little on this. So the heading is around 360 degrees north. So I'm going to zoom right out. And we're just going to keep tracking that line all the way up as the crow flies and let's see where it go goes so we're nearly at the top there let's just bring the earth around so we can get that line to intersect somewhere over the northern hemisphere at 360 or thereabouts degrees so I'm not far off 
from where we originally started. But what I want to do is just zoom in and just point out a couple of things with regards to that. So you can see that it almost intersects at 90 degrees north, which would be uh, rotational north. But the point is this, if we look at where Canada is and where a hundred odd years ago the magnetic north pole was, um, you know, the pyramid wouldn't have aligned up with magnetic north. So I think that it was aligning the pyramids up with the rotational axis, not the north pole, uh, whenever they built it that is. Um, because you can see uh, the pyramids were built perhaps, I mean there's argument about it, they was built six or seven thousand years ago. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that what they would have aligned the site that we've just took the line from on the pyramid would have been probably Polaris, the North Star. And the reason why they would have done that is because that would have been a good indication of where the rotational axis direction would have been looking at the night sky. So, you know, there are people that say the, the pyramids are aligned with north, but yes, they, they probably was going back uh, to 2015, perfectly aligned with north. But I think what, what you've got to remember is 100 years ago, the magnetic north pole weren't where it is now. So what they probably aligned uh, the pyramids up with was not magnetic north. It was the rotational axis of the planet. Now, you know, we've, we've uh, suggested uh, that these things are not in the same proximity uh, for any coincidental reasons. There must be some geomechanics involved here that has put the rotational axis uh, where it is, the magnetic north pole where it is, and the Arctic climate. These are three obvious things that you know we know are over the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. And at least two of those have migrated recently. First one is the magnetic north pole is migrating, and the second one is uh, the Arctic climate is shifting. And the only one that's not uh, changed to this day is the rotational axis. And I just wonder whether the last time there was a true magnetic reversal, whether at the same point in time there was a rotational axis shift as well. If that was the case, you know, the central bulge at the equatorial region of oceans would displace. And, you know, it would change coastal lines. You know, at some points of the world, we would have extra thousand miles of coastline. And at some points, we would probably lose a thousand miles due to the rotational axis shift. And, you know, can, can it be even possible? That just depends on what's going on in our core. If mass was to suddenly shift, then we would get that effect, which I can't remember off the top of my head what the effect's called, but remember I'd done that video where we had the wing nut out in space and it was spun off the bolt and the wing nut spun in one direction for a few minutes and then reversed 180 degrees and spun that direction and then reversed again. And that was only because the imbalance of mass, it's like a tennis racket when you throw it in the air, uh, you try and spin it, it automatically does a fall. 180 degrees rotation as you throw it into the air. It's to do with the unbalanced forces. And, um, you know, it's not out the question that this could possibly happen on our Earth. You know, the rotational axis could shift, but what would set up those circumstances for it to shift? It would have to be, you know, a transfer of mass, maybe in a core or out of core. I mean, we just don't know is the truthful answer. We just don't know. And we don't really know what you know, the building of the pyramids was all about to start with because, let's face it, there was never any pharaohs or kings buried in that um, great pyramid and whatever was in the king's chamber seems to not be there now. I mean, there is a hysophagus in there, or what looks to be a hysophagus, but nothing was ever found in there. It was like nothing was ever put in there. It seems like, you know, to build a single room like they did and go to all that effort of building the pyramids in such a, an elaborate manner where you know it mimics uh, the constellation i mean if you I've, I've showed you this before i know i'm just talking about it not showing too many images but i've showed you before the king and queen's chamber when um 
you know you get a star chart and you put the winter triangle on that star chart and then mark in if you imagine that that triangle is a see-through um plan of the great pyramid you'll see that the king and queen's chamber are offset from each other but by no coincidence when you put that on the star chart the king and queen's chamber it tracks the center of the spiral arm our galaxy perfectly i don't think it was any mistake and if you just add a look at an invisible image of the great pyramid you'll see that the king's chamber is actually built almost like an arrow you know there, there is uh you know a uh, camber on both sides of the roof of the pyramid and the, the walls are square so you know you can imagine why i say it looks like a an arrow it's like they're drawing our attention to it but i don't think uh they aligned it with north pole i think they aligned it with the rotational axis that's my verdict on that and i've not heard too many people talking about that maybe it's commonly known but you know that's my speculation on that uh you know It's a weird world which we live in and we don't understand everything, do we? And the mysteries are still out there to be discovered, I think. There's a lot of things that we haven't found and there's a lot of things that we haven't learned too much about. I mean, pyramids seem to be all over the world. Yet, yeah, you know, a few hundred years ago, Christopher Columbus thought the earth was flat and then discovered, you know, even the Mayan culture. And um, in doing that, you know, these Mayans, we find found out that, you know, even though there's an Atlantic Ocean separating the two of us, and that Christopher Columbus was one of the first that sailed to these indigenous parts of the world, you know. Not only did we find out that the world is, as you should expect, spherical uh, and not flat, but, you know, there are also people building exact structures on both sides of the Atlantic. And it's not just Egypt. I mean, uh, recently, you know, uh, pyramids have been found in Bosnia, and there are these megalithic structures all over the world, which, you know, if nothing else, makes you raise the eyebrow and think. Uh, one of them we have here, as you know, in the UK, Stonehenge. And when I visited Stonehenge, I thought, looking at it, you know, it isn't impossible. These stones aren't as big as what I imagined they would be. And I'll probably be a little bit disappointed when I go and see the pyramids and see that, you know, these blocks were manageable sizes. But it's just the sheer amount of blocks that was placed. And, you know, I suppose what is one of the big questions is how how long did it to actually take to lay all these blocks? And what was the purpose of laying them in the first place? Why build these pyramids? And, um, of course, you know, we have um, not just the pyramids on that plateau uh, where they're situated. We also have perhaps an even older monument, um, you know, the Sphinx, which is said to be a lot older than the pyramids. So we've got the pyramids which are lined up with the rotational axis, and then we have the Sphinx, which watches the sunrise in the morning. It comes up in the east, and that's the direction that the Sphinx is staring at, and sets in the west. So there's a lot of things there, I believe, still yet to discover. Hopefully, uh, at some point next year, uh, we're going on a week's trip to Egypt. There's something I want to have a look at. Just, I need to find, you know, I need to see it with my own eyes to really believe that it is there and it is as been described um, in Abydos, Old Egypt, as it's called. And the uh, place which I'm particularly interested in is the Temple of Osiris. Um, I just want to see what I believe um, holds more keys to, you know, information or, or you know, maybe mysteries being unravelled than uh, what what first meets the eye, I suppose. Anyhow, you know, I just thought I'd share some of these things with you guys. I don't know if you were aware that the actual pyramids don't line up when they were built with the, the North Pole. In fact, they would be many degrees out, uh, but they do seem to line up with the rotational axis and it's a good job that they still do to this day because it shows us that the rotational axis of the earth hasn't shifted and if it had of none of these monuments like Stonehenge uh, you know the Egyptian pyramids perhaps even uh, the Mayan pyramids wouldn't line up on the winter and summer solstices as perfect as they do um, at the moment 
So I thought I'd share that with you. And um, you know, there's a link down there if you want to help support the observatory. More than anything, guys, you know, we are facing the worst month in years for raising funds. And it's very frustrating because, you know, I try my best to keep things going, but there is a limit to how much I can do here without funds. So we really need to change this um, direction that we're traveling in. Uh, if people want to still see, you know, um, monthly updates of the latest magnetic pole position, then we all need to pull together. I know it's not easy times for people. It's not easy times for a lot of people. But, um, you know, the question is, do we want to lose what we've got so far and work so hard to get? Okay, guys, enjoy your evening and I'll say what I usually do. You have a great evening and look after your loved ones. And as always, bye for now.